As you can imagine, this caused some uproar in the north. Some began calling yeah, this. We did that whole I know. I just thought I would say it again. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're skipping. We're moving on. Favorite rich man's war, poor man's fight. Okay. In the south. Not in your way. No. Oh. <laughs> in the south, they called for a draft a year earlier in 1862. They also expanded their age range to include more men. Slave owners with 20 or more slaves were exempt from the draft, as well as people with important jobs. They also allowed for substitutes to be used. In some cases, slaves were put in for their masters. So you blank there, 1863, $300. Right there, engineers, government workers, state militias, railroad conductors, things like that. On the other side, we have 20 or more slaves and then could hire substitutes. Remember how he discussed the Union strategy of taking over the Mississippi and dividing the Confederacy? Well, yes, I do. <laughs> they have finally done it. Grant has already gained control of the northern portion in the Battle of Shiloh, and the Navy has captured the southern end at New Orleans. You see, Admiral Farragut acted aggressively to take New Orleans and eventually forced the Confederates to surrender. It all came down to Vicksburg. You talk about a stubborn bunch of people, as Union ships are traveling on the Mississippi River, trying to get to an advantageous position to take Vicksburg, <laughs> soldiers fired down. You see, Vicksburg sat on top of cliffs that lined the Mississippi River. They were in a great position to fire upon these Union ships. Eventually, Grant comes land side. So, yes, Grant comes <laughs> land side and surrounds Vicksburg, so the cliff is at their back and there is no place to go. Many of the townspeople dug underground forts and tunnels and booby trapped Grant as he closed in. They held out for six weeks until eventually supplies ran out and they were forced to surrender. It just so happens that they surrendered on July 4th, 1863. They were so mad about having to surrender to these Yankees that they refused to celebrate July 4th. Because, you, as you know, this is our Independence Day. Can you believe it? They refused to celebrate July 4th, year after year, all the way until 1945. So let's do the math there. That's 80 years, about 80 years. Oh, my goodness. Pretty stubborn people, wouldn't you say? The significance? Union achieved the goal of controlling the Mississippi River and splitting the Confederacy in half. Forces the Confederacy to surrender. I'm sorry. Firing on Union ships six weeks. And then again, the, the significance is Union had achieved the goal of controlling the Mississippi River and splitting the Confederacy in half. Lincoln frees the slaves. This is it. This is it. Lincoln frees the slaves. It's about time, don't you think? Ah, but you see. Lincoln was in a rather fragile position. He wanted to weaken the Confederacy, but didn't want to anger the slaveholding border states. His compromise, the Emancipation Proclamation, issued on July 1st, 1863. January 1st. January 1st, sorry, can't read. 1863, it freed all slaves in, rebel, in, the, rebel, in the states rebelling against the United States. See what he did there? He only freed slaves in the Confederacy and not all of America. And let me say this, if you ask the average American, they would tell you that the Emancipation Proclamation freed all slaves, but it did not. It only freed slaves in the states in rebellion against the United States. Do you think that the Confederacy immediately freed their slaves upon receiving these documents? Do you think they just went out and said, okay, Abraham Lincoln has said you're free? I ad lived a bit there. No, of course they didn't. So it became a new part of the mission for Union soldiers, to preserve the, the Union and free the slaves. However, most slaves will not truly be free until the end of the war. All right, your blanks. Lincoln wanted to weaken the Confederacy. He did not want to anger slaveholding border states. He issued the Emancipation Proclamation on January 1st, 1863, and two goals were to preserve the Union and free the slaves. And that is the second part of your Civil War notes finished.